हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू स्टडी मैक एजुकेशन चैनल एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट एमसीक्यू फॉर मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग पार्ट 15 सो लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फ्लो सेपरेशन इज कॉज्ड बाय ऑप्शन ए रिडक्शन ऑफ प्रेशर टू लोकल वेपर प्रेशर एंड ऑप्शन बी नेगेटिव प्रेशर ग्रेडिएंट ऑप्शन सी पॉजिटिव प्रेशर ग्रेडिएंट ऑप्शन डी थिनिंग ऑफ बाउंड्री लेयर थिकनेस टू जीरो वेल इन दिस क्वेश्चन आवर राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी पॉजिटिव प्रेशर ग्रेडिएंट एंड पॉजिटिव प्रेशर ग्रेडिएंट इज आल्सो नोन एज एडवर्स प्रेशर ग्रेडिएंट ऑलवेज रिमेंबर दिस टू सेंटेंस एडवर्स प्रेशर ग्रेडिएंट नाउ लेट्स सी हाउ दिस फ्लो सेपरेशन टेक प्लेस नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फ्लो सेपरेशन अकर्स व्हेन द बाउंड्री लेयर ट्रैवल्स थ्रू ट्रैवल्स फार इनफ अगेंस्ट एन एडवर्स प्रेशर ग्रेडिएंट then the speed of the boundary layer relative to the object fall almost to zero now let's see how this separation take place here we have cross section of the aeroplane wing or we can say the fish body and at the front we have laminar boundary layer and gradually it will convert into transition and further in turbulent and at this point we have separation in a flow and the flow will separate from this point as we can see over here now another important that is when flow separation occurs there is also pressure drag always remember very very important for exam point of view now let's see the example of automobile body because air is also fluid and flow separation also take place in air now here we have laminar flow and at the surface of the car body and edges and corner we have a bubble and separation take place inside this bubble so laminar flow convert into turbulent flow because separation take place and reattachment also take place after the bubble and again separation take place and again reattachment take place so over here the laminar flow convert into turbulent flow in this manner and flow separation take place now let's discuss next question the hammer blow very very important question the hammer blow in a locomotive result in option a uneven speed option b pulsating torque option c tendency to lift the wheel from the rails option d variation in tractive effort well our right answer is option c tendency to lift the wheel from the rail now let's discuss what is what what is hammer blow uh, in this figure as we can see there is a counter weight at the wheel on both wheel well this counter weight is provided to nullify the hammer blow effect always remember now let's discuss uh, the actual idea well here we have the line of stroke as we can see let me overlap so whatever the magnitude of unbalanced force perpendicular perpendicular to the line of stroke is known as hammer blow and the magnitude of unbalanced force which along which act along the line of stroke is known as tractive force or a swaying or swaying couple now let's see the definition or let's discuss one mcq to understand the unbalancing of forces the partial balancing of reciprocating part in locomotive produce option a hammer blow option b swaying couple option c variation in tractive force along the line of stroke option d all of the above so always remember the partial balancing of reciprocating part in locomotive produce hammer blow swing couple variation in tractive force along the line of stroke so our right answer is all of the all of the above now let us discuss what is hammer blow swing couple variation in tractive force so let's see well hammer blow the maximum magnitude of the unbalanced force along the perpendicular to the line of stroke is known as hammer blow well always remember now swaying couple the reciprocal always remember the reciprocating part are only partially balanced they are not fully balanced okay always remember 
due to this partially balancing of the reciprocating part there is an unbalanced primary force along the line of stroke and also unbalanced primary force perpendicular to the line of stroke so remember here we have one case perpendicular and another is along the line of stroke so the effect of unbalanced primary force along the line of stroke is to produce first variation in tractive force along the line of stroke and swaying couple so hammer blow is different from swaying couple and variation in tractive force always remember now hammer blow the effect of unbalanced primary force perpendicular to the line of stroke is to produce variation in the pressure on the rail which result in hammering action on the rails the maximum magnitude of the unbalanced force along the perpendicular to the line of stroke is known as hammer blow that we know now let's discuss so uh, tractive force so for tractive force the lo the locomotive usually have two cylinders with cranks placed at the right angles to each other in order to have uniformly in turning moment diagram the two cylinder locomotive may be classified inside cylinder locomotive as we can see in a left side figure and outside cylinder locomotive as we can see in this right side figure so why this provide because the resultant of unbalanced force due to the two cylinders along the line of stroke is known as tractive force and to balance this force this type of arrangement is given inside cylinder locomotive and outside cylinder locomotive now let's move to the water hammer we are very very important terms for exam point of view a water hammer commonly occurs when a valve closes suddenly at the end of the pipeline system and a pressure valve and a pressure wave propagates in the pipe it is also called hydraulic shock this pressure wave can cause major problem from noise and vibration to pipe collapse so let's see in this uh, diagram in this figure initially the valve is closed so we have a steel water well now our uh, now we open the valve gradually so steel water will become moving water and if we close this valve suddenly then there is a pressure wave Pro the pressure wave produced inside this pipe and sometimes it is very dangerous for pipe and th this effect is known as water hammer so keep in mind now let's move to the next question tumbling tumbling is the process of option a improving the fatigue limit option b cleaning the surface of the small parts option c imparting the texture sur texture to surface and option d improving grip limit well our right answer is cleaning the surface of the small parts always remember as we can see in this uh, figure to clean the surface of the parts the tumbling process take place in this manner now let's move to the next uh, question for which of the following type of gear hobbing process is not suitable i repeat the question for which of the following type of gear hobbing process is not suitable option a bevel gear option b spur gear option c helical gear and option d worm gear well first of all uh, this is the example of bevel gear as we know and uh, here we have spur gear helical gear and worm worm wheel worm shaft so this is the example of worm gear now bevel gear has a cone shape arrangement as we can see in this diagram so it is the so hobbing process hobbing process is not suitable to develop this type of profile which profile bevel gear so our answer in this question is for which of the following type of gear the hobbing process is not suitable so our right answer is bevel gear because helical gear spur gear and worm gear are possible with hobbing process but bevel gear is not possible in hobbing process so our right answer is bevel gear now let's move to the next question our next question is the volumetric efficiency of reciprocation compressor depends upon option a clearance volume option b pressure ratio option c index of expansion and option d all of the above our right answer is 
ऑप्शन डी ऑल ऑफ दी अब ऑलवेज रिमेम्बर फॉर रेसिपोकेटिंग फॉर रेसिपोकेशन कंप्रेसर द वॉल्यूमेट्रिक एफिशंसी डिपेंड अपॉन प्रेसर रेशियो क्लियरेंस वॉल्यूम एंड इंडेक्स ऑफ एक्सपांसियम ऑलवेज रिमेम्बर नाउ लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अवर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज अ थर्मो कपल इन अ थर्मो वेल मेजर द टेम्परेचर ऑफ हॉट गैस फ्लोइंग थ्रू द पाइप फॉर द मोस्ट एक्यूरेट मेजरमेंट ऑफ द टेम्परेचर द थर्मो वेल शुड बी मेड ऑफ स्टील बार स्टील ब्रास कॉपर एंड एल्यूमिनियम सो अवर राइट आंसर ओवर हियर इज ऑप्शन सी कॉपर वाई कॉपर बिकॉज कॉपर हैज थर्मल कंडक्टिविटी थ्री हंड्रेड एंड एटी फाइव सिल्वर हैज थर्मल कंडक्टिविटी फोर जीरो सिक्स एल्यूमिनियम हैज थर्मल कंडक्टिविटी टू जीरो फाइव एंड ब्रास थर्मल कंडक्टिविटी इज वन जीरो नाइन एंड स्टील हैज थर्मल कंडक्टिविटी फिफ्टी सो सिल्वर इज कॉस्टली दैन कॉपर सो कॉपर इज बेस्ट आंसर फॉर दिस पर्पज एंड द यूनिट ऑफ थर्मल कंडक्टिविटी वॉट पर मीटर इन टू कैलविन ऑलवेज यू रिमेम्बर वेल अवर राइट आंसर इज कॉपर ऑलवेज रिमेम्बर नाउ लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन अ लो कार्बन स्टील द प्रेजेंस ऑफ स्मॉल क्वांटिटीज ऑफ सल्फर इम्प्रूव ऑप्शन ए बिल्डेबिलिटी ऑप्शन बी फॉर्मेबिलिटी ऑप्शन सी मसिंगबिलिटी एंड ऑप्शन डी हाइडेबिलिटी वेल अवर राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी मसिनेबिलिटी ऑलवेज रिमेम्बर ऑल्सो रिमेम्बर दैट सल्फर इज प्रेजेंट इन स्टील एज वेल एज इन कास्ट आयन वेन सिलीकॉन एस आई एड इन स्टील देन स्टील विल बिकम हार्ड मटेरियल वेन सिलीकॉन इज एड इन टू कास्ट आयन इट विल बिकम डक्टाइल सो ऑलवेज रिमेम्बर दिस डिफरेंस फॉर सल्फर एंड सिलीकॉन वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऑलवेज रिमेम्बर नाउ लेट्स मूव टू दी नेक्स्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू आई बी आर द थिकनेस ऑफ बॉयलर सेल इज नॉट बी लेस देन ऑप्शन ए फाइव एम एम ऑप्शन बी सेवन एम एम ऑप्शन सी टेन एम एम एंड ऑप्शन डी ट्वेल्व एम एम अवर राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी सेवन एम एम ऑलवेज रिमेम्बर नाउ लेट्स मूव टू दी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन टैप कैन नॉट बी यूज टू कट ऑप्शन ए बी एस डब्ल्यू थ्रेड ऑप्शन सी स्क्वेयर थ्रेड ऑप्शन बी मैट्रिक थ्रेड एंड ऑप्शन डी यूनिफाइड थ्रेड्स वेल अवर राइट आंसर इज वेल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल बी एस डब्ल्यू थ्रेड स्क्वेयर थ्रेड ऑप्शन बी मैट्रिक थ्रेड एंड ऑप्शन डी यूनिफाइड थ्रेड स्क्वेयर थ्रेड टैपिंग इज नॉट सुटेबल फॉर स्क्वेयर थ्रेड सो अवर राइट आंसर इज स्क्वेयर थ्रेड बी एस डब्ल्यू थ्रेड द एंगल इज फिफ्टी फाइव रिमेम्बर फॉर मैट्रिक एंड यूनिफाइड थ्रेड द एंगल इज सिक्सटी always remember now let's move to the next question well this is the end of the video so to be continued press like button if you like the content of this video and also give the comments your feedbacks are very very important for us share this video with your friends like mechanical automobile mechatronics don't forget to subscribe this channel to join with us for next video subscribe this channel we are also available on facebook twitter linkedin and google plus if you have any query then feel free to contact us on studymakeeducation@gmail.com thank you and have a good time